Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. In today's video, we are going to continue with uh, the transformations in Apache Beam. So the transformation function which we are going to see in this video is flatten and partition. So without any further delay, uh, let's get started with today's video. So the first thing is we will be seeing what is flatten. So flatten is an flatten and partition is a part of core beam transform so flatten is nothing but it's a beam transform for p collection objects that stores the same data type so it merges multiple p collection object into a single logical p collection basically uh, there will be many p collections in the pipeline it will merge everything to form a single p collection that is what flatten function does and we will now see how to view it how to implement it practically for this I have used a Google Collab Notebook where I have implemented the flatten function. Uh, I have already installed pip install Apache Beam and I have imported Apache Beam as uh, Beam. So now I am creating a pipeline. Uh, basically, I am creating a pipeline and I am creating two different pipeline or two different P collection. One is even data, the other one is odd data. I am creating even data and I am storing it in the even underscore data p collection and I am creating odd data and I am storing it in the odd underscore data p collection. Now I am taking this two p collection, I am using the flatten, I am writing it to the result uh, that is my p collection. Now I am viewing it using beam.map print function. So this is the p collection, this is my uh, odd data and this is my even data. Now we will move into our next topic called partition. So previously flatten merges multiple p collection in this partition will split a single p collection into fixed number of smaller collections so partition is again a beam transform a core beam transform function that stores the same data type it splits a single p collection into fixed number of smaller collections so this basically fixed number it is of user defined if you wanted to split two three four or what n number of splits we can pass this as part of our function so partition divides the element of a p collection according to a partitioning function that you provide we will see this now practically and basically the partition function will consist of the logic provided by the user based on that user's logic we will be splitting our input p collection or whatever the p collection is into fixed number of smaller p collections and then uh, the number of partitions passed must be a positive integer it must return an integer in the range of 0 to number of partitions minus 1 so if we basically if we split if we wanted to split our p collection into five different uh, uh, five different p collection smaller fixed p collection it will be in starting from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so basically 5 so if if it number of partition we pass it as 5 the basically it will start from 0 and the actual number provided minus 1 so we will now see how to implement it practically in Google Collab Notebook. So basically, I have created a uh, I have created a function, uh, not not function. So I have impo used Beam. I have created the pipeline p equal to Beam dot pipeline, and I am create, creating the number like number is 11, 12, 13, 44, 55, random numbers. I am creating a function partition underscore function. In this, I am giving the element. This is my p collection, and this is the number of partitions. So this is my actual logic. Uh, what, how many types I wanted to split? Like two. In this, I am giving two as my number of partitions. I wanted, if you wanted to give like three, four, whatever it is, you can give it. So basically, this element, um, if it is divided by zero, if it is even number, it will return me zero. If it is odd number, it will return me minus. This is the logic of this function. So I'm creating um, now I'm instanting the pipeline p beam dot create I'm passing this number and I'm passing this partition uh, beam dot partition method I'm using beam dot partition method and I'm passing this partition underscore function this this function and a number of partition is two so now I'm storing this in this p collection number underscore pc if I wanted to view the positive number positive not or even number I'll be providing it zero since I used zero for positive even number and one is for odd number I'll be printing first partition I am passing the zero one so now I'll be getting all the even odd numbers if I wanted to get the even numbers if I wanted to get the odd number I'll be passing this value one so that's it for today's video 
i hope you learned something new from this video if you have any uh, doubts related to apache beam or google cloud platform or google cloud certification basically post that question in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to crowd and ai analytics and don't forget to click press the bell icon that's it for today's video uh, i'll see you in the next video with the new content from apache beam until then it's bye from Vignesh. happy learning